Some tremendous excitement here in Eugene for the opening of conference play where the Ducks have been the gold standard over the last two seasons. 30 and six against Pac-12 foes over the last two years. Tonight they take on the running Utes of Utah. Up top, McIntosh has it knocked away and it goes in! I think that was going to be offensive goaltending. I'm surprised. Oh, Chris Goviak is boiling over top. McIntosh letting it go again. Heads up basketball there by the Ducks. Coach Kristoviak wants a timeout. Three straight stops for the Utes to start the half. Bueller transition three, and all of a sudden, Utah right back. This game is tied. Bang. Good execution for the Utes to operate. Time and space for Colette to get that shot off down low. Brown the spin. Hangs right hand finish. Count it. Boy, what can't he do? Seven to shoot. Pritchard baseline. Hang time. What a finish. The first bucket tonight. Peyton Pritchard. It was a thing of beauty. Wow. Working on their offensive sets. It's Caldwell with the catch. Good choice to bring it out, not force. Three again. Justin Bibbins cannot be stopped from deep. Bibbins was the inbounder. Eight to shoot for Bibbins. Bibbins all of a sudden a window opens up and he takes it right to the rack and finishes. So nifty, tight handles. Ross in back door, Colette and the finish, what a give. It's the playmaker, the hub of the wheel. The running Utes of Utah win in Eugene for the first time since 1951. 66-56 the final. What a win for Coach Chris Koviak and the Utes. Justin Bibbins, uh, the quarterback who orchestrated tonight, 19 points and an impressive road victory to open up Pac-12 play. When you came into this game, uh, what were the keys that you were emphasizing to get this W? Uh, we knew that it was a great rebounding team. Uh, we had to go get boards against them, stop their transition. And I think the coaches did a great job scouting them. We had a great plan, so we just had to execute it. You down the stretch uh, really took over this game and made excellent judgments, in particular uh, with the two-man game, those on-ball screens in terms of playing at a pace where you made good judgments, decisions, when to shoot, uh, but when to also give up the ball. Uh, speak to your maturity and development in terms of how to slow down some to make those judgments. Uh, just experience. Uh, I'm a senior. I played here before uh, my sophomore year. So, you know, my experience helped me today just to slow down, uh, make the right plays, not turn it over. Coach said I shoot around. You can't turn it over if you shoot it. So, I mean, we try to just play with that mentality and uh, put the ball in the rim. Moving forward as you look in conference play, the small compressed margin for error that all teams have in conference play, what are the keys, one on offense, one on defense, that the Utes need to improve upon if they want to contend for a Pac-12 championship? Uh, offensively, we just can't turn it over. Um, and defensively, we've got to rebound. Uh, teams are going to be bigger than us, more athletic. Um, if we can't rebound, we're not going to win. So that's the two emphasis for us. You're diminutive in size, but you got a big heart. And growing up, how did being the smaller man on the court influence and really kind of shape your development as a basketball player? Uh, just years of playing. Uh, I'm used to bigger guys, so I mean, I, I come out here, I'm used to it every day. It's a challenge. I know they're going to come at me, but, you know, I'm happy we got the win. Well, congratulations. You played outstanding. Good luck to you guys moving forward. Okay, Mike, Jimmy, back to you guys. Hold it down.